Hey guys, Crow here, and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. Oh, it's been a while. In fact, I actually made this video a month ago, rendered it out, and forgot to upload it. But, since there have been updates, I decided to upgrade my video that I made that you never saw. So this is the Hangar Door V3. Hooray! And it's got plenty of new features, I guess you could say. Pretty much a simple Hangar Door, except it's not simple at all. It's actually a lot of stuff. We got tons of pistons, hanger, like door parts and stuff, wrapping around, intersecting stuff, and gravity and everything. And I ever got to repair that from a malfunction. And uh, that was a really old version. I don't know why I didn't repair that. Yeah, it's a month old repair error, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um,. I guess I'll go ahead and explain it real quick. So this is the V3 hangar door. What this does is rather than slide away like most or fold over or something, this actually like pushes back and then slides into the wall. So that it's not just some simple contraption. <laughs> it's probably better, probably better off doing what everyone else does, but this is a fancier way of doing it, I guess you could say, and it's a much happier door. So First off, we have this sensor here, which I just updated with it, and it makes the automation happen. And what this does is it does, um, finds any large vehicle that is within this box, as you can see. It's a very nice box. I don't think I... nope, nope, I messed that up. Hold on. If I go ahead and grab a large ship... This is over here. Click. Don't want to set it off yet. I didn't prepare for this. What am I doing? All right, now we have a copy. So, when a large ship, ah, oh, this box, go away. When a large ship enters that box and it triggers that, it will activate this piston right here. And when this piston is activated, it pulls um, the whole board thing back behind like this whole entire wall, so that it can slide over that way. And we're here. We have another sensor. And once this fully retracts, it'll hit right on this marker, and that will trigger this entire line of pistons to also retract it into this slot here. And that's the simple part, I guess you could say. And then we have a bunch of gyros. They're not really meaningful in a way of where they're placed, but everything else you see is very meaningful with everything that's placed. So, of course, we have a surrounding wall of landing gear to allow it to slide on. We have three pistons going. I'll go in here. Hold on. Find We have like one, two, and three pistons. Then we have this gravity gen. And I'll explain why they're there. And then we have another one slightly lower. And there's surround. They protected around there. And that's all the gravity gens. And if I fly over to the end, oh, it's been so long. It's so busy work and school and everything. Well, school is making things easier. We have a gravity gen here. What this does is push the gra the um, artificial masses upward along the rail so that I don't have to put any th any um, of these landing gears on the bottom. Because if I did, then it wouldn't really slide into it. It would collide with the landing gears. Then if I didn't put these um, things in here, the whole thing will wobble more and more until it explodes everything and. Yeah, so pretty much these are acting as in, like invisible artificial landing gears, struts, or supporters, or whatever. So it's just pushing it up. And this is also pushing up against these once it enters. And that explains the invisible landing gear on the bottom. Now let's move on to these wacky little structures. So, as it turns out, these, um, oh god, it's been that long. Um, blast doors are, like, since they're subsided by, like, a tenth of a meter or whatever I think it is, it's, you're able to actually wrap it around blocks to create, like, landing gear stuff, but, of course, landing gear would work, work better, but when it's, like, flush like this, it actually works incredibly well for making smooth rails. So yes, so if you want to make rails before they actually release, these are actually really good for them. So first off, we have this set of rails, and like, well, not rails, this formation around it to 
allow it to glide along. Then we have this set, which keeps it from bouncing left and right, and keep and allows some movement up and down because you don't want to put like n allow no give way for when that happens. You want to allow some movement while it's not in yet, or it's about to get in until it stabilizes. And that's when we have these which will be right underneath of here, which finally stabilizes completely, allowing no movement, and it'll be much smoother when it hits that part. So yes, everything has a purpose. And... Are we missing many years here? I don't remember. It's been so long. Um, yes, so that is the stabilizing system of when it's in... when it's parking, to make sure everything is snug and nice and comfy and everything. Now moving on to these, these are what holds the door in place if you're going to keep it permanently locked. Right now they unlocked, which means that it is allowed to be open automatically and then moved over here. Now when it gets over here, it's going to might hit. These are like these aren't supposed to hold on to it, but just in case, if it's like a millimeter or more or has extra movement, these will not grab onto it, but it will stabilize the movement to slow it down. So if you, if you reverse it, it's not going to hold onto it and break everything. It's going to simply release it as it's being tugged away. But yeah, so <laughs> hopefully you could understand it all. I'm going to go ahead and show it off real quick so you can understand. So la di da, shit flies in, thing will light up. I, I don't know if it is. But yeah, it did. Okay, go away, block. So now I can see moving away, if I go ahead and go to this view, as you see, once that field is triggered, bam, the uh, other pistons will retract, moving this whole system. And you will see the wondrous glory of how it all works, and it's all compacting together. See, it still has some give way up and down, as you can see it's bouncing. And if there was there, it would be colliding and might destroy the, will damage the blocks. And now it's actually almost completely stabilized as it's going in, which will allow these to, like, fit underneath the landing gear, which, without getting damaged. And see, no sparks, floats right under. Beautiful. And it's almost parked. As you can see, this doesn't, it's unlike, um, centralized landing gear here. That's damage I've got to repair that too. Um, so yes, it all folds up nice and snugly. Will it hit? No, so it actually went perfectly that time. So there you go. It is a very complicated system for no reason, but hey, it looks pretty cool, right? It's all filled up and well, completely away from the hole. Yeah, it's a little over. Oh well. But yeah. Oh god, it's getting wonky. Sit. You can just fly your ship right in, and if I go ahead and go back to my character, I set up a little control panel, because until these sensors allow for multiple actions per, like, sensor, then it won't be po uh, it, sure, it can be possible to set up with, like, stacking tons of sensors, but that's gonna make it more bulky, and I don't want to do that. So I just set up a simple little control panel here. You can go ahead and click arm. It's going to extend the arm back. Then we have airlock, which is when it hits its central position. You can go ahead and push the airlock back in. And the air auto lock, which if I turn that on, it will allow it to lock into position with the stuff. You don't have to turn that on yet. And of course the manual override for the locks, which you don't actually need the auto lock, but Let's see it. I'll show you. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for this to finally close. It's a big door, and you don't wanna screw with the pistons, making them too fast, because as we all know, they don't like being stressed on, unless you want them to explode for purposely. But I don't want them to explode. This is supposed to door is supposed to protect us, not kill us all. Anyway, as it is finally. Reaching is in position. Hooray, it is finished. Click airlock. It'll actually start pushing down. We can go ahead and turn on the auto lock. And once it is fully closed, three out of the four, and sometimes four out of four, it's pretty rare that happens, they will turn green, which means it is stabilized and locked and good to go. Yep, there we go. We have three out of the four. 
which means that it is like secure. Yay! And you can go ahead and leave them locked if you want, if you don't want anyone entering. If you and, and if it does retract, oop, oh no. Now it's the uh, someone does trigger the sensor, then it will retract in the arm since there's invisible landing gears there. Hooray! It will actually bend against it, and it won't actually explode because it'll just bend the arm. And if that happens, it'll still stay closed, and all you have to do is just go over here and just click the airlock button, and it will go back to its normal state. But if it is bent, you do not want to unlock because it will fling back and it will explode everything. So yes, it is unable to be opened and all the good stuff. Now, if you do want people to get in, go ahead and turn off the auto lock. And then you go ahead and click the lock override. And that will unlock it. And it won't start shaking around, so it looks exactly the same. But people will be able to get in again. And that is how the whole thing works, I guess. Hopefully you understand, I am sure you did not. So, like always, you will be able to download this world for yourself, check it out. Of course, I'm going to fix up the broken parts that broke it for some reason before I upload it to Workshop. But if you check in the description, or if you're seeing this on Steam or whatever, you'll probably see it in some fancy picture or whatever, I don't know. Just look somewhere, you'll, you'll find it below somewhere. Just click it and download it, subscribe to the Workshop item. And you'll be able to test it for yourself and actually fly a ship into it rather than throwing blocks at it. Because I'm not a designer, I can't build ships, I'm sorry. I'm just not that channel. And, yeah, got fancy little control panel. So anyway, um, before I make this video extremely long for no reason, which screwed up my last chance of uploading the video a month ago. Now with his upgraded design. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for future un like reliable creations and explosions and stuff that does work like this and hopefully new series except let's plays are so overrated I'm just kidding i'll probably make one i don't know we'll see everything will be seen and please give me requests on what you want to see me build challenges i love them just send me them say build this i bet you can and then i will and then i'll laugh at you and okay um yeah so, I will see you next time with whatever I do. Goodbye.